All right, this is just a quick update. Uh, basically, this is the SNW communicator. Uh, all the components are in place. Uh, I managed to get uh, these components of the preamp uh, shrunk down enough to fit right here, uh, inside, right there, uh, above the, uh, the Moore uh, motor right here. Um, the uh, power amp is right here, the LM386, and then the uh, Bluetooth is right there. Uh, the little buttons you see out here, this switch for now is just the uh, on-off switch uh, that I use, um, uh, temporarily of course. And then we have two tactile switches here, which will be located right here in this location uh, where these are representing. Um, so there will be two switches there. And then the, the pause, uh, this particular one, has a couple of functions. It's pause. Um, I think uh, you can dial out the last number dialed uh, if you want to uh, make a call. You can make a call. Um, the microphone uh, is right here. There's a little hole right there. So now the microphone uh, inlet is right there on the bottom and that actually feeds the Bluetooth that's right here. And so when everything is in place, of course the LEDs will be here and they'll be um, most likely an Arduino, a really small, maybe the Tiny85 Arduino, uh, to, to flash those LEDs. And of course we'll have the, the motor, the Moore motor. And of course that'll be probably uh, with a switch that's uh, uh, te uh, momentary, because uh, I don't want to flip it on, leave it on for no apparent reason. Uh, I want to be able to maybe have it on when the lid is uh, open. So when the lid's open, it turns on, you know, or something. I'll, I'll work out the, those details. Um, but yeah, so basically uh, uh, everything is in place, and I'm hoping to uh, be able to finish it up and have it. Oh. Wait a minute. Yeah. Spock here. Oh, okay, Spock. Uh, I'll, I'll be right with you. Okay. No, I gotta go.